Hi, so I want to figure out whether my Turing machine is ever going to figure out whether a ship is stuck or not. We always want to know whether our ships are going to be stuck at some point. So here, the problem that I'm claiming to be L is the set of all Turing machines, such that on some input, it doesn't matter what the input is, on some input, the machine writes the word ship, those four letters, uh, at some point. So at some point on its tape, uh, those four letters appear. It doesn't matter what the rest of the tape has. So you may think, okay, let's apply Rice's theorem here. And it turns out that you can't apply Rice's theorem here. The reason is that if you have two machines with different languages, it might be that those two machines still write the word ship on some string. So Rice's theorem requires that um, the two machines have the same language. Um, but even if you have different languages, they still could write the word ship. It's not whether we accept the, the input ship here. It, it's that we have it written at some point. So the st input string might be totally different. So I claim this still to be undecidable though. So when you see the word some input right here, you th should think, well, on some input it does something, but uh, on other inputs it does other things. So what we, whenever you see some input, try to think the emptiness problem. Because what we can do is we say, um, we're gonna build a machine that has non-empty language if it writes the word ship and empty language if it does write the, the word ship. So let's assume, let's assume that, uh, let's call it S decides of this problem L. So S is a machine that will take an arbitrary Turing machine and figure out whether or not uh, the ship is printed on some input string, it, whatever it does, we don't know. In fact, we, don't, we will prove it can't exist. But what we're gonna do then is we're going to build a decider for the emptiness problem. So how's this gonna work? So remember that the emptiness problem is going to be given a single Turing machine. So, so this thing right here is a single uh, Turing machine. It's completely arbitrary. We have no idea about its behavior. So if we feed M into this uh, supposed decider S, well, it could tell us whether it writes the word ship or not, but that doesn't mean anything about the strings that M accepts. It might write the word ship, but the, the, it still might reject everything, right? So that doesn't tell us whether its language is empty. It may tell us whether it writes the word ship, but that doesn't really help us here to s solve the emptiness problem. So in like all undecidability proofs, the first step here is to construct a new Turing machine. Let's call it uh, M prime, which is gonna be given some arbitrary uh, input X. And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate um, the original machine M on X. And we will write uh, the word ship uh, if M accepts X. And that's, that's all that M prime does. So effectively, it's just doing the normal M simulation. It's just, it's embedding the transitions of M into the one for M prime. And it's adding this little extra bit at the end. So like if it accepts, it writes the word ship and then accepts. Um, and, and actually we should say accept here as well. Write and accept. Uh, uh, actually, I'll do it this way. So. I will say um, accept and write the word ship if M accepts X. It's important that the M prime machine actually accept here versus uh, just writing something and doing whatever. It needs to accept here. So let's think about what happens. So if M prime accepts anything at all, then it writes the word ship because if it accepts something, then it writes the word ship. If it doesn't accept anything, then we'll never actually hit this step right here because we can only do it if the original machine M accepts X. So 
That means that if m prime accepts anything, then that means that m accepted something. So uh, actually, I should say, if m prime writes the word ship, that means that m uh, actually accepted something because no matter what the input was, it will write some something if the original machine accepts x. If m prime doesn't write the word ship, then it couldn't have been that m actually accepted anything because if it did, it would have wrote ship in the first place. So the question of whether m prime uh, writes the word ship is equivalent to asking whether m's language is empty. And so we could now solve the emptiness problem. So let's do that. So let's uh, run the supposed decider s on this new machine that we just made. And so it's the supposed decider, so it must say accept or reject. So if it accepts, then that means, so this thing says it wrote the word ship at some point. So that means that the original machine did accept something at some point. So that means that it's not empty. So therefore we need to reject here because we're trying to solve the emptiness problem and we just determined that it did accept something. So uh, I should be a little bit clearer here. So if S accepts, then we reject the machine that we're building here. The, the outer machine that we're building. Um, if S rejects, because that's the only other possibility, because if we're assuming that it's a decider, um, then we will accept for the reason that if it, if it rejects, it never wrote the word ship, which means that the original machine never accepted anything, which means its language was empty and then therefore we can reject. And so this tells us that because um, ETM is undecidable, it can't be that this problem uh, about writing the word ship can't be decidable. So that means that the language L right here is undecidable. And so it's impossible to figure out whether our ship is going to be stuck or not. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts about sh uh, stuck ships in the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.